Zip Tie Domes presents the Zip Tie Dome Geodesic Dome Connector. This is a very simple and effective geodesic dome connector. The connector is a center ring hub that is surrounded by a free floating outer collar. The strut is slipped through a hole in the collar and attached to the center ring with heavy duty nylon zip ties. For large domes, we use 250 pound stainless steel zip ties for permanent construction. But the strength of the connector comes from the collars, not the zip ties. The holes in the collars are precisely drilled to a correct size to provide a patented locking action to hold the struts in the correct position for building the geodesic dome. And it is the locking action in the outer collar that is what gives this type of geodesic dome connector much greater strength than any other type of hub design. The locking action in the outer collar is based on a ratio between the strut diameter and the holes in the outer collar. The size of the hole in the outer collar determines how far the strut moves before it locks inside the collar. And as the strut moves against the hole in the outer collar, the fulcrum upon which the strut rests is moved away from where it is attached to the centering hub and onto the locking collar itself. This puts any leverage produced by the strut on the outer collar and not on the hub, which makes it nearly impossible for the strut to shear away from the center ring hub under stress. This locking action is a new and novel idea that has been granted a patent in the United States and several other countries. To demonstrate how the locking collar makes the dome much stronger, I built a 13-foot geodesic dome without the locking collars and held together only by center rings and 120 pound heavy duty zip ties. You can see that without the locking collars, there is no control or limit to the strut angles, and so this is a very floppy type of dome. I had to build this dome upside down because it is nearly impossible to build a dome like this without locking collars the right side up as the struts tend to fall over before they can be secured on both ends. You can see how this dome wobbles when stress is put on it, and when I try and turn the dome, dome over, it nearly collapses on itself. This problem is not just with domes connected only with center rings and zip ties, but it is a problem for any dome made with connectors that do not limit how far the struts can move. And there are quite a few dome connectors that work just like this one that do not control the strut angles and produce a, and produce a very weak dome structure. These domes with simple hubs may look good, but the hubs do not control the struts, and even if you straighten the struts to correct the problems with the hubs, you still can't do a chin-up on the dome. So let's test this dome that does not have any locking collars and is held together with 120 pound zip ties. I weigh a little over 240 pounds. Will it hold my weight? Not quite. So let's look at the same dome with the same center rings and 120 pound zip ties, but this time I will build it with the addition of the locking collars. This dome is easy to build from the ground up since the locking collars holds the struts in place as the dome is being built. This dome is built with the same type of 120 pound nylon zip ties as used in the first dome. I weigh over 240 pounds. Will this dome support over 240 pounds, even though it is only held together with 120 pound nylon zip ties? The answer is yes, as the locking collars more than double the strength of the 120 pound zip ties. And when we use 250 pound stainless steel zip ties, the zip tie connectors will hold well over 300 pounds as in this example of a silo dome. 
And so looking at our test dome with the locking collars, when I take this same 13 foot dome with 120 pound zip ties and roll it over, you can see how the dome does not collapse upon itself as it did without the locking collars. The locking collars makes this dome much stronger than without them. And these outer locking collars also allow the dome to be taken down very easily. Just cut all the, all the zip ties and remove the center rings and the dome will still stand held up only by these locking collars. Pull the struts out of the collars and the dome is ready to be packed away for transport to the next location. No other hub design is so easy to take down or put up. Now compare our hub design to hubs designs that use plumbing joints to build a geodesic dome. These types of domes do control the angles of the struts, and so they are strong domes, but they are difficult to build and to take down. For if you have to use PVC glue to hold a dome together made with plumbing joints, you can only take the dome down by cutting it apart with a hacksaw, which will destroy every hub and every strut. If you try to attach the plumbing joints to the struts with nuts and bolts, then for every dome connection, you will need to use a power drill to make a hole through the plumbing joint and the PVC strut, then slip the bolt through the hole, attach the nut, then tighten with a wrench and a screwdriver, and to correctly seat the PVC pipe into the plumbing joint, you will need a small hammer or mallet to tap the strut into the plumbing joint. All of these steps take time to do them. And if it takes you only one minute to tap the strut into the plumbing joint, drill the hole through the strut and the plumbing joint, insert the bolt, and attach the nut, then tighten the bolt and the nut with a wrench and a screwdriver, then just this one minute and connecting the strut to the hub will add up to several hours of construction time. For example, a four frequency dome has 500 connection points. Spending just one minute per connection point means that you will spend eight hours and 20 minutes just in attaching the struts to the hubs. This is why you see videos of other hub designs that require several people to build a dome and several people to take the dome back down. You will never see a video of any of these domes being built by just one person in a reasonable period of time. But our hub design is very quick and easy to build as no tools are needed to build our domes, only zip ties. This is very helpful when working on a ladder as you don't have to carry any tools up and down the ladder. Our hubs are so easy to use, even a child can build a geodesic dome. Here is a video of two children building one of our domes using heavy duty zip ties. This is the only geodesic dome hub design that requires no tools to build the dome and so it is perfect for children to learn how to build a geodesic Good dome. Job. This hub is perfect for kids to build geodesic domes for schools and other educational purposes. And it is these holes in the outer collar that makes it so easy to build the dome. Just drop the strut into the hole in the collar and the strut will remain on the hub waiting to be zip tied while the other end of the strut is in the exact position to meet the next strut so you can easily build the next tier. Here is how we design the zip tie dome's connector. The holes in the outer collar can be drilled to accept any type of strut. Just as this hub will work with PVC pipe, it will also work with metal conduit or with wooden dowels and other types of struts. This simple hub design will support metal rebar for building concrete domes, as well as domes made from bamboo. This design can also make a dome or geodesic sphere with the struts, hubs, and everything made entirely out of clear PVC pipe. For heavy duty applications, the hub connector can be manufactured entirely out of metal. But when the hubs and struts are built with plastic parts and plastic zip ties, this will produce one of the few geodesic domes that can be built entirely out of plastic with no metallic parts. 
For this reason, Stanford Research Institute bought one of our domes for a radar reflector, as it is the only geodesic dome built with no metal parts. It is the size of the holes, or apertures, in the outer collar that surrounds the hubs that determines the maximum angle the strut can move. Here we are testing a collar with different size holes to see how many degrees the strut will move inside the various hole sizes before it locks into place. The holes in this collar will produce a different strut angle for a 2 inch hole, a 50 millimeter hole, and a 1 and 15 sixteenth of an inch hole. This difference between the strut angle as compared to the radial plane of the hub is called the axle angle. And this axle angle of the struts as compared to the hub is what creates the curvature of a geodesic dome. Each dome frequency or type of geodesic dome will have a different dome curvature and a different axle angle needed for the struts. The lower frequency domes that have less triangles will have a sharper curvature to the dome and require greater axle angles between the hubs and the struts. The higher frequency domes that have more triangles will have a more gentle curvature and require a smaller axle angle between the hubs and the struts. Each dome frequency requires a different axle angle for the struts as compared to the hubs. So, for one and a half inch PVC pipe, which has an outside diameter of 1.900 inches, to build a two frequency silo dome with 18 degree axle angles from each hub, we will drill the outer collars with a two inch drill bit. To build a three frequency dome with 12 degree axle angles from each hub, we use a slightly smaller 1 and 15 sixteenths of an inch drill bit. And to build a four frequency dome, which requires 12 degree axle angles, we use an even smaller 49 millimeter drill bit. So to summarize, we have the data on not only how to drill each collar to fit the diameter of any size PVC pipe, metal conduit, rebar, bamboo, or any other material, but also how to drill the collar for the specific dome frequency to give the maximum strength to the dome. No other geodesic dome connector does this. We are the only hub design that manages the axle angles of the struts. So about our customers. Our customers use our domes to build geodesic greenhouses, movable geodesic chicken coop pins. These are strong but lightweight so they can be moved every day. Swimming pool covers. These are made to perfectly fit your pool. Aquaponic fish tank covers. Art domes. Video projection domes, festival domes.
silo domes for covering fruit trees, marching bands, or geodesic ice fishing huts. We also provide free domes for charity, such as these domes for the Zululand Orphan Project in South Africa. We also provided free hubs for the Barclay Special Needs Children's School in Ridgeway, South Carolina. And we provide information or, or free hubs to homeless people who live in the woods and just need a roof over their heads. If you work with a homeless or run a homeless shelter, we would like to talk to you. If you are a company that manufactures products like ours, we would love to talk to you about a licensing agreement for using our hub design. If you have questions, please contact us by calling us at 931-858-6892 or go to our website at www.ziptiedomes.com. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks!